she started my makeup by first cleaning my face and then she went in with the moisturizer and then applied a face primer i got married october 2020 10 10 2020 and it was actually a surreal day for me i had the best time i like nothing that happened that day made me unhappy you know from my dress not fitting in the morning to my dress actually ripping like we had to we had to literally bring the tailor from a very far place to where our where we were lodged and then in the morning of my wedding they had to fix my dress you know so right now she's going in with the foundation she's using um the new van beauty foundation in my shade obviously i'm not sure what shade she's using but she's using the new van beauty foundation it's actually a very beautiful brand it's a nigeria brand and yeah that's the foundation she used for this face for this um for this look so as i was saying like that morning my my dress actually ripped and my my zip didn't wasn't locking and it was an invisible zip and it just didn't enter me and then we wasted time and we weren't able to get to the venue on time and it was enough to make me exhausted and angry and i was just calm i was as calm as a dove <laughs> even my stylist didn't believe that i was that calm like this other was just looking at me like well are you sure you're okay well are you sure you're okay i'm like in my mind i'm like yeah i'm okay i don't know i just wasn't unhappy you know nothing made me sad or unhappy and i was just like okay we shall get over with it we'll get it over with the dress and we'll be on our way to the venue and go and start the registry the registry that was supposed to start at 7 or 8 a.m we started like 10 so that's like two hours and then it was a full day event so you can imagine how much time was wasted but i was calm i didn't panic i wasn't angry i was just there and surprisingly so was my husband <laughs> because he's normally in a hurry he hates wasting time okay so now my she's applying um a concealer and she's also using the new band beauty concealer honestly guys you, you need to trust nigerian brands and there are a lot of new nigerian nigerian brands makeup that very very great nigerian brand makeup products are very very great and new brand beauty is one of them so while well, um she's applying the new brand beauty concealer on my face also so as i was saying even my husband that is very very you know time conscious doesn't like to wait waste one minute he doesn't like to keep people waiting for anything in this world and it, it makes him angry when i delay him like was calm and didn't even it didn't pressure that we were wasting time and i was really grateful for that because that that was the only thing that could have gotten me worked up and then the fact that i didn't do that made like made me really happy and i was just chill <laughs> honestly i was on board that i was on board that though because um, we shall get over with we get what did over with so yeah and then we headed to the venue and okay apart from that i think i was stressed i was stressed at the um registry you know like the the process i don't know i just felt like it was unnecessary too much <laughs> it was unnecessary wasted of time for most of those things the registry didn't take time but i was stressed maybe it was because my shoe was a little uncomfortable or i'm not even sure but i was stressed so right now she's trying to blend the concealer with um, a beauty blender and trying to se also set it with a face powder so she's setting it first before baking so you can see she's using the powder palette to set it so as i was saying i was stressed i think my shoe was uncomfortable and then it made me stressed and it, it didn't affect my mood i was just stressed i just wanted to sit down and didn't want to stand another thing was i was shy oh my god guys i was shy to kiss my husband 
<laughs> I'll still try to kiss her. That's why publicly, like I, don't, I really don't like PDA. Not like I don't like PDA, but then I still don't like PDA. I don't know if you get it or if I'm making any sense. So I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Should I say embarrassed? But I was so shy to kiss my husband in front of my parents. Like my mother and my father. My mother-in-law and my father-in-law were sitting there and the whole world were looking at us and they were like, kiss. <laughs> oh my god. It was just you know, but then thank God for my husband. He's always overexcited and hyper and everything. So it made it didn't make my my shyness show, you know. It was able to cover up and yeah, it went well. So right now she's at applying a darker shade of powder and she's um, contouring my face. As you can see, my face is already changing. You know, she's it's you can see um, the highlighted points and the contoured points. So after the registry, we went to our changing room and then we went to prepare for our nikai. So I had the Muslim wedding because my father is a Muslim. I am a Christian, my husband is a Christian, my mom is a Christian, but my father is a Muslim and he wouldn't have it any other way. So right now she's currently drawing my eyebrows. Just watch closely. I'm sure you can learn a thing or two. She's um, using the MacBook pencil and then she's outlining my brows. So honestly, eh, this Nikai thing was something I struggled with for the longest time. I'd always known that my father wasn't going to accept it. He wasn't going to allow me to do a Christian wedding, but then I was still hopeful, you know, until the time came, and then we gradually started speaking about it, and then I'll I'll be like, okay, and then we'll just do small prayer, and then our pastor will just do small prayer, and then we'll just do small prayer, and then he won't say anything. He'll just be looking at me in 3D, and then when the real time came, the man said he has his own people too that will come and do small prayer, that it will not take long. Like it's just sharp, 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 sharp. They will just more than one hour. Yes, even though the is a far people, they actually did a, a great job. You know, this most all, all of the things, this the things they said were very reasonable, and you know, yeah, we learned a thing of thing, a, a thing or two from it. But um, it sure wasn't what I wanted, but it wasn't as bad. We, we give glory to God. It was something I had to fight. In fact, like I cried at some point and. I remember going to meet my pastor and I was like, ah, ah, Pastor, we have to <laughs> we have to do Muslim wedding. My father is not agreeing. And then, like, the Bible has said it's honor your father and mother so that your day will be long on it. And I'm like, okay. Okay, now let's honor. So, there's no point. We had to do the kai, but it was still beautiful. Either ways. Okay, so she's currently highlighting my brows, obviously. And she's trying to define the brows. So, that is how I did Nikai. Olimot Nikai. I hope I said it well. Anyway, the Nikai went well, honestly. There was there was nothing it didn't take too long, but because we had wasted time in the morning, a lot of time had gone. After the Nikai, we went back to the changing room to prepare for reception and then my husband said, Well, what if you came here today and then you didn't meet any decoration and you didn't meet anything and the whole place was empty. We just to go ahead and get married. I'm like, yes, now, like, what's the big deal? Like, thank God the all is fine, small ball. <laughs> I don't know. Why wouldn't I meet decoration though? Yes, so there was decoration story in my wedding. Hmm. My people. That's how we paid decorator man, and the decorator man ran away. And it was not the decoration. Because when, when we got there the night before, I was wondering, ah. -ah this was not what we paid for now. The kind of things I was expecting to see. I didn't see the banner that we paid for. It was looking funny. Like the kind of pictures we saw before we paid was not what I was seeing. But I was keeping cool because they were still setting up in my mind. I'm like, okay, maybe more things are coming. And then I got in the next day. It was barely, I don't know, like the decoration was just bare. Do you get like it wasn't like heavily decorated? It wasn't what I expected. And then it was not telling me when we we're about to change for reception that the decorator man ran away in my head i'm like ha like i didn't even know how to <laughs> i didn't even know how to react this was big uh, okay so he knew the day before and then him and my darling huh my darling baby girl he refreshed <laughs> tom tom like they literally managed it 
and I think for a bit too new, new, new about it. All of them knew about it and then they hid it from me. And honestly, I wouldn't have even lost it. I don't know why they felt they need to hide it from me. But, you know, I was I was just sad and grateful that... I wasn't sad on my wedding day. Oh, please, don't get it twisted. I was very happy. <laughs> but I was just, like, disappointed. I was sad that the man did that. Like, why would you want to ruin somebody's happy day, you know? Why would you want to make make them feel bad? I don't even know. Actually, I was sad for him. And I was sad that I carried our money. And then my husband had to pay someone else to get, like, to do a quick, just to make the all look a little finer and or more. Now, she's currently trying to um, apply a base on my eye to prepare my eye for the eyeshadow. So... Yeah, just watch and learn and enjoy my story. So that is how the decorator man ran away. It wasn't funny. But we give glory to God that we were not put to shame. That it was the devil that was shamed in the name of Jesus. We are grateful. And as I speak to you today, we have still not found the decorator man. Nor have we gotten back our money. That's how we carried our money away. To think that it was the old person that introduced the decorator man to us. Anyway, that's the story for another day. I know that we'll still find him. We will find him and he will will pay back our money. And he will suffer for his sin. That man. But we thank God that he didn't show, honestly. People, I'm not even sure people remember what the decoration (laughs) looks like. And then, like I said, thankfully, the old was looking. It wasn't looking as bad so basically she's just applying my eyeshadow right now she's starting with the outer corner applying the contour and then she'll go in with the lid so yeah just a shadow application for a bride <laughs> so so different things happened on my wedding day different things it was just it was just but, but none of it was enough none of it was enough to make me unhappy I was I was actually happy. It didn't it didn't mess it didn't mess with my mood. I was genuinely happy. Then we went for the reception and then the reception went well too. It was fun. Like it now made sense to me why we didn't have all the fireworks and the what's that thing called? <laughs> that smoke thing Sha, that comes up with <laughs> that smoke thing that combines with fireworks. Uh-huh. When we didn't have it, it made sense because the decorator ran away. You know, we pay for all of those things and then Baba didn't show up, you know. He promised us even an ex, in fact. <laughs> I decided to show up. But I was just grateful that it was fun. And I was grateful that everybody ate. <laughs> that it was not my portion. And it was not at my wedding that people came and said they didn't eat. I think one of my friends didn't eat, Sha. Ngozi, I'm sorry if you ever watch this, if you are ever watching this video. I'm sorry that you didn't eat, and I see all you ate. But Omo food was enough. Like there was a lot of food. I was also so grateful that I didn't spend extra money cooking for my friends because that was my fear. I feared that my friends might be forgotten. Like while my mother or others are taking care of their guests, they will forget our friends. That's my friends and my husband's friends. But I'm really grateful that they were intentional and then. They made sure that as many people as possible ate. And yeah, most people actually had fun. Most people ate well. And then there was there were even like other things afterwards. At the after party, there was shawarma, there was cocktail, there was asun. And all those after party foods now. And all those all those things that sh- that people eat at after party. And then it was fun. People danced. And had fun and then there was dj time and i was just really grateful to see so many people all my secondary school friends the ones that traveled the one that traveled down bolu bolu baby girl bolu had emotion. she stayed like like the whole day she came a day before and left like um on sunday she stayed like three days so you know that like it meant the world to me like i was just grateful that people came through for me like i always people always come through for me and it makes me so grateful while i was talking she fixed my lashes and did my liner and then 
did my waterline you guys should watch other makeup tutorials on this channel you will learn the details but then yeah at least you can still watch and see what she did and replicate so as i was saying i was really happy to see a lot of my friends church people came and a lot of my mom's friends and so many things another part that pained me at my wedding was that we didn't start dancing in time oh zoom you oh my gosh <laughs> it pained me because some of my mom's friends that came to spray us had to go back with their money can you imagine because we did not start dancing on time even at that even though we didn't start dancing on time we still made a lot of money we still made a lot of money or more i was really grateful and I actually had fun. I had fun at my wedding. Like me that I don't know how to dance. I cannot dance to save my life. I danced by Jebaji. Like <laughs> I don't know where the inspiration for the dance came from. I don't know where the energy for the dance came from. I don't know where the joy from the dance came from. But um, I danced. Even my mom was like, ah, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. Like because the, you you have no idea how many lessons i've tried to take and in my mind i'm always like god i hope i will not flop on my wedding day because my husband is a stepper he's a dancer like he can dance nonsense so now imagine me that i don't want to dance beside him so he was already but i was just too excited so the dance came from from nowhere or from everywhere i was just dancing everything i don't know if it was i, I didn't even care whether the dance was like like following the beats or it was off beat or anything i was sure that's see everything and it looked like it was making sense for people <laughs> and you know people sprayed me sprayed us that was sure if if i if i ever have to do my wedding again uh i probably will have separated my engagement from oh i forgot to say that there was an engagement there hey after in fact there was no engagement like it was just too much too much events in one day like we had four events in one day and it was a lot i was tired but happy i was stressed but happy so if i ever had to do it again i'll probably have done it one after the other like maybe done engagements a day before done registry a separate day so you know i'm just grateful to god that I had a beautiful wedding and yeah I'm really grateful thanks for watching please remember to subscribe and expect more content from me bye love you Mwah. <laughs>